Light Espada, Mandala Badu Shabadu Shekeya, Roboko Sataria Babush, Mandali Bababaku Sataya, Kila Madush, Kala Madushaya, Roboko Satayina Namako Sataya, Roboko Sekelebeaya, Robo Shabanamakutaya, Roboko Sekelebeko, Robo Kotaria Badushkaya, Tongs of Fire God, Bibio Saku, Robo Kosakatalabakusikaya, Robo Kosekelebokosaya, Robo Kosikaya Baba, Mandoloboko Shaya, in Jesus' prophetic name. Amen.
hard for everybody to think in. He said, do it not yet it's fear what he shall be, but we know that when he shall appear, Hallelujah. we shall be. So we're going to just worship him a little and then we're going to officiate. Hallelujah, Jesus. Tenta, we need to hear these old songs that go right into the souls. Hallelujah, Jesus. We welcome you, Father. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Just give the Lord your love on tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Father. Like you're in the old church, huh? Tonight is all it. I wanna be more, I'm more like Jesus. I wanna be more, I'm more like Jesus. I wanna be more, I'm more like Jesus. Yes, God. Thank you. 
another level of worship. I know I have some worshipers on this line tonight. We don't really come to get from him sometimes. We just need to leave a deposit in his awesome presence because he's so glorious. He's so full of majesty. We just have a welcome him tonight. Oh, Hallelujah. Mando 
Kadosh. I am drunk already. I'm kadosh. Drunk. I am drunk. Kadosh. Can you say Kadosh? Kadosh. Can kadosh. you say Kadosh again? Say it loud. Say Kadosh. Kadosh. Mean only. Kadosh. Say Kadosh. It kadosh. means he is holy. Ah, yeah, yeah, kadosh. yeah, 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 yeah. Say Kadosh, kadosh to your king. Hallelujah. Kadosh. Kadosh. Ah, kadosh. 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 Kadosh, Kadosh, Oh, no. 
We say kadosh to the Lord who is arrayed in splendor. I am drunk in my spirit. My God, uh, I want us to pioneer with angels. I want us to tap into angelic worship. I want us to come into the holies of holies by the shed blood of Yeshem. I want us to stop being out of court Christians. Hallelujah. Welcome to the line of Judah prophetic ministry. I am Apostle Anaki Yezro. Tonight, I'm going to ask those who have an echo in their background to go ahead. Do us the honor by muting the only one worshipers. And God says they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Tonight, we're here for the second half of last night's service. We were dealing with metaphysical projection. The kind of testimony I get from today, it encourages my art to do a part two to the metaphysical program. As a matter of fact, I, I, I wrote uh, uh, all day today uh, uh, one chapter, maybe, uh, I think it's not, not one chapter, four chapter books. A four chapter book I did today on um, metaphysical manipulation. As always, when I come on, I want to make sure I am in a decreased mode uh, so the Ruach Kodesh can increase in me. If you hear my voice sounding ruggedly, ruggedly tonight, I believe it was worth the crying, the, the, the jubilating. I am having small, small encounter of the angelic force of energies that lies in the third heaven and tonight hallelujah to be out of that sphere a realm of influence is a total robbery to our humanity i pray that god will release the brimstone of god and the fire of god to release us i believe that we need to invoke this realm i believe that when witches can take up 45 days 330 days 
to fast, to destroy marriages and destiny. I believe that there's a realm of glory that the people of God can, you know, can do liberating fasting. Fasting that is uncontended. Fasting that will catapult and accelerate you into the realm of glory. Fasting that will make you look like you're heavenly good and earthly no good. <laughs> Fasting that will keep your eyes on the prize. I believe that God has encapsulated me in that realm. The more I worship him is the more I see that deities and entities and thrones and dominions and principality, place, things, people are nothing to be compared to our holy creator. The more I worship him, the more enthroned I feel. Heal. Hallelujah in his goodness. I want you tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Marco City to also understand the time that we're in. In the name of Jesus Christ. It is a time of deliverance. Somebody say, shout it loud and clear that it's a time of deliverance. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. It's a time of deliverance, saints. Can you open up your prophetic mouth? I know I mute the line because there was some saboteur online tonight. We don't want to encourage them. But I'm going to unmute you just a, a little. It is a time of mass deliverance. God is investing it's a, time of a lot mass in deliverance. it. Mass. Mass. God is not dealing with mass. just a few. He's dealing with the masses. And this is a time when God is calling us to operate in the realm of spiritual intelligence. I'm going to tell you a little bit about an heaven that is just over your head that you need to blast the heaven like a simmerine. You don't need to live under a dry realm. You don't need to live under a realm where everybody's having breakthrough, but breakthrough is eluding and deluding you. You need to tap into your own realm. Each one of us have our own realm, our own archie our own sphere of influence, or that is our realm and jurisdiction of operation. Each one of us is allotted a place. Each one of us have our own template. That's why we're all unique individually. Your grace is not my grace, and my grace is not your grace. We are all set apart for various things in the kingdom. I want to bring you back to the reason why you came into the earth realm. You did not just came into the earth them to have a ministry, have a marriage, to work and make some money. Your assignment is greater than that. The covenant is greater than that. The things that pertain it unto your destiny is greater than just having a marriage, just having a ministry. You came on a kingdom assignment. You came as an ecclesia of God in the name of Jesus Christ. You came with an apostolic jurisdiction. Can I want to talk to you just before I go into the realm tonight of untethering. You did not just come to get an academical uh, uh, uh accelerated, uh, hallelujah, goodness, such as you are good in your academical study, you're good in, 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 in your business um, adventures. That is not the only thing you came into the earth realm for. Can I, uh, can I talk to somebody tonight in the name of amen, Jesus Christ? Amen. I want amen. you to know that you came on a kingdom assignment. Hallelujah. Can somebody say, I came on a kingdom assignment assignment i am on, on a, a kingdom, kingdom agenda. agenda i came on Robo a kingdom assignment. everyone just open your mouth in the in the apostolic realm that you're under this night can you open up your prophetic mouth and say i am on a kingdom agenda i am on a kingdom assignment hallelujah i am not just here to operate in mediocrity. I am on a kingdom agenda. I am on a kingdom assignment. I am on a kingdom assignment. I am I'm on a kingdom assignment, and my kingdom assignment is not negotiable. My kingdom assignment is not negotiable. Hallelujah. I am not just in the earth realm to occupy space. I'm not just in the earth realm just for neutral things. I'm in the earth realm to conduct my apostolic duty. I have been sent on a kingdom assignment as an ambassador of reconciliation. I 
of a kingdom. I want to speak this into your spirit before we go into tonight's service. You're not an ordinary man. You're not an ordinary woman. Your mother's womb was only the catalyst. Hallelujah. It was just a, a vehicle. It was just a channel. It was just a portal into dimension that God gave God the access point to transport you from eternity into humanity. There was a day in your life when your humanity have an encounter with divinity. And that is why you're here. You're not just here to have a job, have a husband, have a family. You're on a bigger assignment than that. And I'm here to remind you that before you came into the earth realm, you gave God your yes. You become God's intercessor. You become an advocate for salvation. You become the strengthener to the to those that are weak. You become the standby of hope to the hopeless. Marco Sata, you were brought here with an excellent spirit. Everything that we are doing now is to rewrote our life to the original plans of God. You were born with, right. with skill. This skill, you did not acquire it in a university, hallelujah, a facility. This skill and this godly wisdom that given you supreme preeminence so over all that you were acquired to do, from the, by the kingdom, you got that understanding from the Lord. So when you came and give back your life to the Lord, God through the Holy Spirit is busy in you activating those spiritual things, bringing you to maturity and divine comprehension that defies logic. Some people are trying to figure you out, but what you're called to do, their logical interpretation cannot appropriate it. So I just want to thank you for being here tonight, and I want to say we're Whatever you are misreading the purpose that you came in the earth went for, I pray that God will give you the insight. We were here with 57 people on last night. Hallelujah. And the testimony I got today was tremendous. As persons were Amen. giving a lot of testimony that for years, they have never felt their spiritual sphere or archy recalibrated as when we dive Amen. into unpetering uh, mystical things such as uh, metaphysical bewitchment, such as etheric field bewitchment pastoral feel bewitchment, uh, things that make your body feel retarded, uh, things that make when you yeah. wake up in the morning, yeah. you want to sleep for another 10 hours, uh, those yeah. energy yeah. vampire that has Amen. been draining you. Yeah. God gave you a big break tonight, uh, and I, I just slipped yeah. this a little yeah. late. Yeah. I don't. I didn't expect a lot of people to turn out tonight with such an impromptu um, um, invitation. Uh, however, it is important that if you understand yeah. your rem of operation. If God has given you divine Amen. comprehension and you have an immeasurable and unlimited surpassing passion and greatness embedded inside of you, you will never be comfortable. You will try to find a group of people that have the same culture, that have been developed to attain this oneness. You will be pushing into realms where you can comprehend the full accurate knowledge of who you are as you're born as sons and daughters of the most high God. Am I communicating? So tonight we are here because some people are still underdeveloped in the spirit. Some people are retarded in the spirit, not because you're bad, but some of the things that you eat, uh, it kind of uh, manipulated your genetic your RNA and your DNA and your chromosome. Yeah. So now you're looking yeah. because you feel like you're logging behind. Other persons yeah. are progressing. Other persons have been yeah. developed. Other persons are pushing yeah. into their destiny. It seems like they yeah. are triumphing yeah. and you're wondering why I am, so, I am retarded. I am eager yeah. and ambiguous to possess my spiritual possession and my spiritual manifestation. Yeah. But something in yeah. me is, uh, hallelujah, 
misaligning me. Do we have anyone online? You know Amen. that you were born for greatness. Amen. You have been Amen. seeking the enrichment of this, the, these things that will help to qualify you. You are not just Amen. looking at the sentimental gush of people that are prospering and they're just giving you little claps and little waves like, come on over here, girl. Come on over here, boy. This is where it's at. But in your Noah, you know that I am lacking the, the nurturance, the spiritual, hallelujah, nurturance, the things that can give me spiritual velocity and tenacity and heighten my yeah. ability to yeah. reach even beyond where those people are eyeing and firing me to go. Because God can do yeah. far exceedingly above, beyond what I can imagine, according to his yeah. power that worketh in me. He will empower me to hear his voice and to dream big. He will cause me to be quickened. God wants to change my lifestyle so my life will be palatable because before now I've been living as an underprivileged man a woman of God. I hear people talk about their determined purpose, but my own seems like it will never come into fruition. You are the ones that God sent me for tonight. Amen. Tonight, Amen. I told you that Amen. I spent a day, I, I've never written a book in my life. In the space of seven hours, I wrote this on this book on war against metaphysical witchcraft. Uh, when I spoke about it at length last night, people were coughing, vomiting, all kind of stuff you were on. How many of you feel the shifting even today when you get up? Amen. Your atmospheric realm was charged. You felt recalibrated, Amen. revitalized. You feel like there was a renaissance, a quickening, a revival. Amen. If you're under yes. the sound yes. of my prophetic voice and that was all you felt uh, when you wake up, we want to hear a loud amen uh, on this apostolic amen. prophetic center amen. on tonight. Uh, you were on last amen. night and the amen. wind of the spirit uh, encapsulated you. The wind of the spirit blew Lord. on you uh, in the name yes, of Jesus. Uh, so God wants to Hallelujah. put in the other us. So tonight we want to welcome our platform as usual. Tonight we want to welcome amen. Pakistan. Can we have... A, a loud um, welcome. welcome for Pakistan. Welcome, uh, we Pakistan. want to welcome the welcome. Bahamas. Thank welcome God for Bahamas. those that are sending out invitation for us to pioneer with them to open a ministry there in um, Holland. Thank God for all those wonderful welcome, people Holland. in Holland. Thank God for those in the United welcome, Kingdom. Maku Shataba. Want to thank Kingdom. God for our welcome. friends in Kenya. The Kenya University of welcome, Kenya. Want to thank God for them. Want to thank God for the visionaries, the, the theologian deans, Pastor Make, and welcome. all the other auxiliary welcome. of the, um, welcome, welcome. the Kenya Faculty of, of, of Greater Study in Theology. Want to give God thanks for welcome. them. Want to give God thanks welcome, for our welcome. friends and loved ones there in Connecticut, welcome. also in uh, Ottawa welcome, and Winnipeg, Toronto. Want to give God thanks welcome, for those that we'll be clicking welcome. on later from Jamaica. Want to give God thanks for Spalding. Want to give God thanks for our government official, the mayor that was on welcome. from Jamaica. Want to give God thanks welcome. for her life. Want to give God thanks for welcome. her passion welcome. for the gospel of Jesus Christ. Want to give God Amen. also welcome. thanks. Hallelujah. Can you help me? I will welcome Europe Amen. tonight, Argentina welcome tonight. We want to welcome, welcome Barbuda and ba ba Bahamas. The Bahamas. Welcome Bahamas. Want to thank God for the Bahamas. Thank God for that welcome interview Bahamas. that I had. Two interview welcome, welcome, interviews welcome. in the Bahamas on my song entitled welcome No More Bahamas. Killing. Want to give God thanks for welcome. what He's doing in uh, Love 101 in yeah. Kingston, Jamaica. Yeah. Root Rockin' Radio and Love Radio. FM. Thank yes, you so much Radio. for playing my song. Welcome, love you are well welcome. appreciated. Uh, to our esteemed guests tonight, I have Dr. Michelle love Richards that is online tonight. Let's hear it for this dynamic welcome. woman of God. She is such a dynamic vessel that God welcome, is raising up in welcome. the end time. She has such a passion welcome, for the less Michelle, privileged. Welcome. She has an ambassadorial welcome. hallelujah accolade to her name for, for, for Liberia and welcome. other connected nations that God has used, used her welcome. instrumentally. Welcome. Want to welcome. give God thanks for her grace. 
Hallelujah. It's yes. time we understand that we are all diplomats. We operate and function in the aristocratic. Amen. I keep well, saying huh. the aristocratic and diplomatic anointing. It's not just the elite. Okay. We are the real elite because our father is an aristocrat. His name is Yahushua Hamashiach. So we all operate in the aristocratic and diplomatic anointing. And if you have been Amen. cheating yourself, Amen. it's time to get back under that banner. We are called to be among Amen. them that are the aristocrat. Hallelujah. So Amen. at this time, Amen. we're going to have our Amen. biblical reading. I'm going to call, hallelujah, and Sister, hallelujah, Ron Paul tonight to read for us Psalms 20. Psalms 20 in its entirety, I'm going to ask that you do it expeditiously. Psalms 20 in its entirety, hallelujah, woman of God. That biblical quotation from the book of Psalms, any version is accepted. Then we're going in straight into our sermon entitled, War Against Metaphysical Program. Immediately after this program, you're going to see breakthrough like never before. You know I don't prophesy and mince my word when God has released me to speak. I have never seen breakthrough like this. Since yesterday, it's like there is a, such a shifting with persons telling me, stop. I gave you a word that before the week is out. Persons who never call you before because when your, your etheric field is blocked, when your chakra is blocked, and you have seven yeah. chakras in, 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 in your humanity, from your head to your, your toe, they are vital parts of the humanity. And when they are clogged, yeah. when they are blocked, it makes you retarded spiritually. It makes you regret. You can't progress. You're always stagnated. So this is the second half of what we did last night. Go ahead, beloved. Amen. 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 Ingrid, and read for us from chapter 20. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Father, we give you thanks for this reading tonight, Psalms 20. Good, good night, Apostle. Good night, everyone. Scripture reading is taken from Psalms 20. The Lord hear thee in the day of trouble. The name of the God of Jacob defend thee. Send thee help from the sanctuary and strengthen out thee out of the Zion. Remember all thine offerings and accept thy bond sacrifice, Selah. Grant thee according to thine own heart and fulfill all thy counsel. We will rejoice in thy salvation in the name of our God. We will set up a banner. The Lord fulfill all thy petitions. Now know that I know that I Know I that the Lord saveth his anointed, he will hear his from the holy heavens with the saving strength of his right hand. Send some trust in chariots, some trust in horses, but we will remember the name of the Lord our God. They are brought down and fallen, but we are risen and stand upright. Save Lord, let the king hear us when we call. Here in the scripture reading of tonight, tonight. Amen. 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 The Lord, uh, the word of the Lord is blessed. The word of the Lord stand predominant. The scripture cannot be broken. Tonight we'll be talking uh, on a team that is entitled War Against Metaphysical Witchcraft. When I speak about witchcraft and metaphysics, witchcraft often is associated with the metaphysical practices. It refers to a broad range of belief and practices that involve the use of magic and ritual and the harnessing of natural and supernatural forces. I am going to share with you now some of the key points about the interception of witchcraft and metaphysics are metaphysical projection in your humanity. Metaphysical witchcraft is often operating within a metaphysical realm where practitioners and witchcraft guru believe in the existence of spiritual forces, energies connecting beyond the physical realm. Hallelujah. This kind of knowledge that has been hidden for years, hidden in various dimensions and spiritual entities and energies, 
that can be honest to influence, uh, hallelujah, the practitioners in vocation and practices through magic. Number one key you need to know in demystifying the witchcraft projection of metaphysical attack that attacks the chakras. And many of you don't believe that you have chakras. You all have uh, chakras. You have the crown chakras that deal with your mental faculty. You have the eye chakras, uh, those that practice uh, yoga or kundalini or even the new age. Uh, they use that chakra to operate out of the third eye which is not how we operate as children of God. Then you have the heart chakra. You have the chakra that is in the navel. You have the chakra that is in the private areas. And I will have a night that we are totally going to deal with chakras, delivering chakras, delivering chakra from the serpentine spirit and the scorpion spirit that pollutes your anointing, stop your heart, promote heart attack, high blood pressure, cardiac arrest, cardiac convulsion and manipulation, cardiokinesis, and all these kind of attacks upon the heart. Personally, I want to say over the 15 years that I've been in ministry, in deliverance ministry to be precise, I've seen various manifestations of different entities coming out of people. So tonight, there are hidden dimension in the spirit where spiritual entities feed on your energy. You have an etheric field that is called another a part of you, which is like an astral part of you. Your etheric field is associated with the spiritual part of you. That is the part of you that sleep in the night. That is the part of you that transfigure from one dimension to the other. That's the part of you that travel to nation that you have never been in the natural. There is a part of you that travels. When you wake, when you sleep at night, you're going in dimension because you're tree parkour. You are human, you are soul, and you're spirit. So many forms of witchcraft emphasizes the personal empowerment and believe that individuals have the ability to shape their realities and their intention. Number one, to willpower. Number two, to energy. And number three, to align into the metaphysical realm. So the emphasis of this kind of teaching is to give you back your power. Some of you have lost your mental power, your conscious power, your semi-conscious power, and the power struggle is going on and on. Things are trying to eliminate you and trying to stop you from progress in life. Ritualistic uh, workers know that when they stop your energy, they have you retarded. When they stop your energy, you will spend nights sleeping in the bed. Your night will turn day and your day turn night. It means your inward clock will be manipulated. Yeah, yeah. So when, when, you're, when your energy field is manipulated, infiltrated, programmed to work against you, you will find your internal clock is turned upside down. And many people will find that they're up until daylight most of the time. The night shifts into day and you're still up. You're, you're sleeping, but you're not resting. For there is a power that have altered your energy realm, your etheric field, your astral realm. Number two, rituals and magic. Simi wants us to run an empty cylinder when witchcraft practitioners and other things come into your humanity. They begin to eat up your flesh. They begin to eat up your energy field. And you cannot function proficiently and effectively with no energy. So I'm here tonight to help you to escalate to a new realm, frequency, realm, and vibration. You were called to operate in this dimension and any power that wants to alter that dimension. 
God wants to block and stop that power tonight. It will never be able to function in your humanity. In the mighty name of Jesus. God told me tonight when I begin to write this book today. He said the cells on your etheric field is going to be broken. Every witchcraft practitioner knows that if I pull out the essence of who you are, you can go to the Timbuktu, but nothing will happen. You will be excluded from major events in your life. Every diviner knows that if they cast a spell on your etheric field, then you are good as dead. Last night, I was busy defining the etheric field for those that are on for the first time and you don't know about this. You have never heard about an etheric field. All the day of your life, you have never heard about a part of your humanity that needs your supervision. You have never heard about that field that surrounds your entire humanity. So your etheric field, for those who are unlearned about the etheric uh, operation of your humanity, I want to share this. The human body generates what we call the electromagnetic a magnetic field that can be measured as well as your biofield. Your biofield is a subtle energy body that are more difficult in measure. The human energy field consists of five major lead layers, including a physical body and your aura, where your mental, physical, spiritual, and emotional characteristics are stored. The human biofield extends several meters from the human body. That's why sometimes when you go into a place and a person of an invited spirit, you can say, wow, this person of a good spirit. But if you go into a place where the etheric field or the aura over that person is negative, you will feel that negative force coming against you. Mighty God, as I begin to write this book today, God began to tell me that the metaphysical realm is being highly polluted and forces are looking people's holy etheric feel for a range of witchcraft pollution. And if you are doubting me, uh, hallelujah, you know we're in a time when the Kundalini, which is the false Holy Spirit, is taking over so much churches today. So when you're going to a church and you see them in a spiritual hype, you got to wonder if this is an authentic spirit or this is a replicated, duplicated version of the Ruach Kodesh. I want you to know that the Holy Spirit cannot be replicated or duplicated. So Satan come with a false spirit that is called the Kundalini, that is a deity and a pantheon. That individual can also be polluted in the energy field. So I want to ask a question. If you're under the sound of my prophetic voice, uh, and based on what we learned last night, I told you that there was going to be a brutal struggle in praying last night. It was so. After we begin to clear the atmosphere and the hemisphere and the stratosphere and the intergalactic and the cosmic and all the other form of holler related realms that are subdivisional realms that are affiliated or associated with this kind of thing, then you begin to feel clearance. Person was vomiting and all kind of stuff was manifesting out of their humanity. A lady called me from Florida. She said, Prophetess, my whole life has changed since last night. I don't even know if she's online yet. But she called me and saying, my God, I never knew these things. I said, what? Well, I said, stay close to the line. You're about to hear some more things. She said, actually, Prophetess Anna, I was following you from 2019. She said, I was online one night with my husband, and you were praying about, you were praying about mommy water spirit. And those of you that are like me that travel the continent of Africa, we are affiliated in the African diaspora of the mommy water spirit. The woman say, as I begin to talk about the mommy water 
water spirit, our old body start to convulge. And because her body start to convulge, she become afraid. And she said she dropped the call and ran off the line. I say that was the biggest mistake you ever made. For your body convulging is God showing you Hallelujah. Your body convulging is God showing you that there's an entity in your body that is sharing in your humanity that is not a part of your humanity. Can somebody say, I am not going to drop the call if my body starts to shake. Whatever is making my body to shake must come out of my humanity, must come out of of my humanity, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, am I communicating? In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Open your mouth. Anything that causing your body to shake. Rikabo sakundelebe. Roboko shanta. That thing that caused her body to shake, that caused her to throw down the phone and run, that same thing is still in her body and it needs to go. I don't know if Sister Melissa Bennett is online. So tonight, anything that is sharing in your humanity, the Bible calls them stranger. The Bible say that the strangers shall submit themselves and come out of their close places in the prophetic name of Jesus. Any stranger that is in your humanity sharing with you, the Bible say the stranger shall submit themselves. How many of you want the stranger to submit themselves and come out of their illegal places, out of your humanity, in the prophetic name of Jesus Christ? Hallelujah to the Lamb. So she's online now. She told me. That's from 2019, she has been following my ministry. Unknown to many people, I am a deliverance ministry. I operate in the prophetic, uh but I'm also highly endowed in the revelatory gift of, hallelujah, the dimension of the deliverance. I believe deliverance is key to every ministry because wherever Yahushua show up, there is deliverance. The blinded eye will be open. People will be coming to him for deliverance. What I want to say also, it is not healthy for you to be having dreams of having sex in your dream, even if you had sex with someone that you had sex with in the physical but it's operation in your dream realm. There is an intruder in your dream realm. Can I go deep with you tonight? In order to get the metaphysical practices of the different dimension that is in your humanity, we have to explore these realms. We have to excavate to these realms to bring about a clear understanding of what we are discussing tonight. So sexual harassment in the metaphysical realm is very common. Providence Anna, what are you talking about? Be very explanatory. What are you saying? Can I be harassed by a spiritual entity? Can I be harassed in a sexual way by an, by an entity from another realm? The answer is yes. You can be harassed by a sexual deity, a sexual entity that take on the characteristic of somebody that you know. And it's not just Inky Boss or Shuki B are the only sexual entity in the metaphysical realm that can attack your humanity. Somebody say, I need to know about this. So anytime I go to bed, and anything having sex with me, even if they look like my ex-husband, even if they look like someone I'm dating now, don't call the prophet and say, Providence Anna, this man makes passionate love to me. I know that is my husband. God don't need a man to make passionate love to you in a dream to tell you that this is your husband. Am I talking to someone tonight in the prophetic name of Jesus? So you have metaphysical beings that operate in the metaphysical realm. Somebody say metaphysical realm is being untethered tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Can somebody open their mouth and say please in Jesus' name.
Hallelujah. I know I mute you all. Those that are unmuted, can you repeat that just now? In the mighty name of Jesus. So there are different categories of these sexual demons, incubus and succubus, that do operate from the metaphysical realm. Just to give you clarification in what I'm saying, let's look at how the incubi and sukibi demon operate. So an incubus is a demon in a male form and that seeks to have sexual intercourse with sleeping women. The corresponding spirit in the female form is called sukibas. So we have here in demonology two vicious spirits that operate from the metaphysical realm. That is called incubus and sukibas. The Latin word for incubus is a word that is described as nightmaric, meaning that the name incubus derives from a Latin word that is called incubu, which is interpreted as nightmare. So these demons are of human, and they love to transfer themselves into persons that you're affiliated with in the spiritual realm. I have known women that come on this line that have serious gynecological problems. And so we start to pray of these incubus spirits, hallelujah, what they spent five, six years, hallelujah, with their gynecologist to solve was a, an infection such as a, 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 a candidus uh, and all these kind of things that keep repeating every time it goes it come it because it was an infection that is also put on them from the spirit. So you can be harassed metaphysically. You can be harassed. Hallelujah. Typically, I need you to understand that any form of unwanted and inappropriate sexual behavior in nature that is penetrating your humanity, it is unacceptable. As a child of God, you should not. Hallelujah. Allow it. You must. Take action to that invasion and programming of whatever entity that has a gesture that is profiling itself in an hostile way to intimidate you in an environment of sexual pollution. God opened my eyes, and I'm writing another book on this one. Those who are constantly having sex in their dream, you are not only losing your life forces to the metaphysical realm of this metaphysical being, but you're also being incarcerated in the RM of sexual entities. This is very serious to your humanity. So if you're a woman and you're not married, this sexual demon will ensure that you never get a man. You never get a woman if you're a man. They are so territorial. They are so territorial. They will, will, will use every force to keep you isolated from your divine spouse. However, spiritual rape is a phenomenon that is commonly tossed aside. I'm reading everything I'm reading now is from the book I wrote today um, on uh, war against metaphysical programming. So this chapter specifically deal with the harassment of you being interacting and experiencing sex from a spiritual being, uh, sex from a deity, sex from a phenomenon thing that is going on in and around your environment. Did you know that if you, if you study in Wikipedia, you will realize that Inkibi and Sukibi of the constant raping you in your sleep, they pollute you so much that you start having mental problem, mental hallucination, delirium, schizophrenia, bipolia, ADD. You are shredded. You are fragmented. You are centered in the realm of the spirit and also in the physical. Spiritual harassment is wrong. And in this spiritual phenomena, the encounter that people suffer with some of these things are so distinct from all our everyday human interaction. And it may involve a dynamic, hallelujah, uh, um, um, desire 
for the interpretation of these encounters that are usually held aside in the church. You go to the pastor and say, Pastor, I am being raped by a metaphysical being. I'm being raped by something in my dream. I'm being harassed. And no matter how I pray, they're feeding me food in my dream. They're having intercourse with me. The pastor will say, maybe you need a, a psychological evaluation or maybe you need to go to a mental doctor to find it because they always associate this kind of harassment with mental derelium, insanity, and, 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 and split personality and those things. So it is important to note uh, that a person may experience different kind of attack by a metaphysical being. The attack varies. So you're coming to the kingdom for such a time like this, uh, and by the power operating in me and you tonight. Uh, there will be a transformative experience we will encounter tonight uh, as these wicked spirits leave our bodies and there will be no more distress. Uh, during your sleep, you will sleep and have prophetic dream and not encounter with deities and entities. You are going to experience a mega shift. Unfortunately for some people who are so-called religious and operate on a various religious mentality, they will not even open their spirit to be associated with a supernatural with a supernatural power of God because they deny hallelujah Christ in power. But based on the, the I, I, I have written a prayer in the courts of heaven. I have written a prayer in the courts of heaven because heaven is God's judicial system. God of a bureaucracy there. God has a, 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 a called out body, which is the apostolic government of God. He of the heavenly tribunal. He has the heavenly tribunal. When God wants to make a decision, he has the 24 elders, the men in white linen. The spirit of just men made perfect. The 24 elders are those that are in God's cabinet. Uh, how do you know these things, Prophetess Anna? If you study the book of Enoch, one of the apocrypha uh, of the, the book of Enoch, it, it tells you about these kind of setting in the heavenlies. Uh, hallelujah. God, have, um, there was a meeting and God says, who will go and deceive Ahab? And the spirit say, we will go and be a lion spirit in Ahab, uh, unto Ahab and that spirit be a line spirit. So you got to have spirits that work with him and God also have angels that take on the characteristic of human. You find that in the Genesis narrative, when the angel went to Abraham, they were not in their angelic form. They were in human forms. So, so it is that like angel can shape shift. So we have, and this is, when I do the etymological study of the ancient, hallelujah, um, um, origin of these, metaphorical entities. I get to understand that these things they back from Gilgamesh and they they back from the Sumerian king over maybe five thousand years ago. So these entities are not new to creation. They have studied humanity for a while and so they understand our operation. They know how to um to, to, de, to define us. But Romans 9.33, let's look at that quickly. The word of God states, as it is written, Behold, I lay in Zion a stumbling stone and a rock of offense. Whosoever believe on him shall not be ashamed. Because you have believed in Yeshua Messiah, that disgrace, that, that program is putting on you will be lifted. Romans 16 verse 20 state, and the Lord God of peace shall bruise Satan under your feet shortly. The grace of Yahushua Amashia be with you. There is something profound that God says in Romans 8, 31 to 37. What shall we say then to these things? What are the, these things? Metaphysical program, harassment in dream, pollution, invocation, litigation, conjuration of darkness, all kind of manipulation. What shall we say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? He that spared not his own son, but deliver him for us all. How shall he not with him freely give us all things? And who shall lay any charge to the cause of God elect? It is God. God that justifies. And so I want to come to you tonight from the perspective of 
it's time for you to be delivered. If you believe that it is your time to be delivered, can you open your prophetic mouth and say, it is my time. It is my time to be delivered. You see, brethren, a closed mouth is a closed destiny. If you have a closed mouth, you're closing your destiny. The Bible was given for us to read the account of men and women who through prophesying, decreeing, and declaring the prophetically altered destiny. Break the yoke, and they have been emancipated through their proclamation and declaration. You will not achieve anything if you're not prophesying and legislating over your life. You got to open your mouth and speak the thus says the Lord over your own prophetic destiny. So I have constructed a prior and those who will buy this book, this book will be in a digital form in the next few days. I am doing some digital books to get them out as soon as possible. So this discussion, it is important to approach it from a spiritual perspective. A supernatural um, experience cannot be measured to the natural finite mind. So this is very sensitive, and I respect your all individual views, but not everyone on this line has been harassed by program entities. So I have constructed a prayer today. And you're going to pray tonight, and you are going to tap into the, the realms of freedom. Yes, as I said that before, that God has an heavenly tribunal. He has military angels. He has, hallelujah, the ecclesia is the called out government of God. Who are the ecclesia? You and I. You and I. We are called the called out government of God. We are the governmental structure of the, this ecclesiastical kingdom, Yahushua Mashiach. So there is a prayer. I didn't want to preach long tonight. I didn't want to be overly explanatory because I want us to delve into the, 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 the real meat of the matter. And the real meat is getting yourself untethered from metaphysical program. So this prior point that I've constructed for the court of heaven, we are going to say together, I'm going to unmute some phone that I've been muted because there was an interruption coming from your line. I pray that you will just take this opportunity to be free. And before the week is out, today is Friday. Tomorrow is going to be Saturday. I mean, today is Thursday. Tomorrow is going to be Friday. Before Sunday, you will be having testimony. I'm prophesying and legislating that you will have testimony. Hallelujah. So Jesus, those of you that I muted your Jesus phone, name. I'm unmuting you now so you can have an opportunity <laughs> to repeat the prior point. Hallelujah. And to be delivered. This prior, you will not find it online. Hallelujah. It is not, it is not distributed yet. So I am going to open the court. It's called the appellate court. The appellate court is like the Supreme Court. It is the highest court in the judicial, heavenly judicial system. So I'm going to start by saying I want you to repeat after me. Amen. This is my prior. This is my, this is my prior. prior. This is my in prayer. appeal to the appellate court. In appeal, in appeal to the, to the appellate, appellate court, court. against metaphysical programs and deities. Against, against metaphysical, metaphysical programs, programs and deities. So, only righteous eternal Father. Holy righteous eternal Father. I approach the court of heaven. I approach the court of heaven. Through the precious blood of Jesus Christ, Yahushua Mashiach. Through the precious blood of Jesus Christ, Yahushua Mashiach. I invoke the presence of the military tribunal. I invoke the presence of the military tribunal. The men in white linen. The men in white linen. The spirit of just men made perfect. The spirit, the spirit of, of just men made perfect. Made perfect. 
along with the seven spirit of God as described in Isaiah 11, 1, 2 to 3. One to three. One, one to three. three. Isaiah one. Say two, I I I request that the court convene. I request that the court convene. Aligning with the word of God in Daniel chapter seven, nine, and ten. I humble and petition the ancient of days. I humble petition the ancient of days. The Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. To open the books concerning my life and destiny. To open the books concerning my life and destiny. I beseech. I beseech that the blood of Yahushua, I beseech that the blood, blood of Yahushua, the spotless Lamb of God, the spotless Lamb of God, the spotless Lamb of God. Saints, you need to say it authoritatively. Mention in Revelation twelve eleven. Mention in Revelation twelve eleven. All right, let, let, let me do you the honor. I'm going to read it. And you are going to say, Lord, I receive this fire unto myself and my children. You've got to say it with authority. This is your time to be free. You've got to say it with authority. You've got to say it with power. You've got to say it. This is a once in a lifetime prayer. You may not have the opportunity to get this kind of message again. So I will pray it from the depths of my heart for you. Father, in the mighty name of Yahushua Amashiach, Jesus Christ, the eternal God, I approach and appeal to the court of heaven against metaphysical programming and metaphysical entities. Say, I agree, I receive this prayer unto myself. I agree, I receive this prayer unto myself and my family, yes. my children. Yes. Holy and righteous eternal father, I approach the court of heaven, the appellate court, to the precious blood of Jesus Christ, Yahushua, Amashiah. I invoke the presence of the military tribunal, the men in white linen, the spirit of just men made perfect, along with the seventh spirit of God, as described in Isaiah 11, 1, 2, 3. I request I that the court convene, aligning with the word of God in Daniel chapter 7, 9 and 10. I humbly petition the ancient of days, the Holy Spirit, to open the books concerning my life. Those that are on this platform and their children's life, me, my children, in the mighty name of Jesus. Say, I receive it upon me and my children. This prayer. And and my my children. children. If you have husband, your husband and your wife, be very elaborate in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I beseech that the blood of Yahushua, the spotless Lamb of God, mentioned in Revelation 12, 11, be brought forth as crucial evidence today. I stand in your court with a heart overflowing with thanksgiving and praise. I adore and exalt the sovereign God, the father of creation, the judge of the widow, and the father of the fatherless. I humbly request that the court subpoena a summons of all metaphysical deities, included hybrid beings of both human and non-human nature, all practitioners of metaphysical forces, all metaphysical influencer, whether diabolic or otherwise. May the court summon those who are possible, uh, responsible for conjurating magical practices, witchcraft, 
all beings that bring forth evil and manipulative, hallelujah, destruction to metaphysical beings. Say, I agree. I receive this fire unto, unto myself and to my children. Unto me, unto myself and my children and family. I implore the courts of heaven to act with, with their metaphysical power to annihilate, seal, and destroy all illegal, wrongful, and illegitimate covenant contract Fuck, vows, trading, marriage, sexual bonds, sexual harassment, fertility exchanges, genetic ties, dedication, initiation, rituals, animal projection, animal deities, animalistic souls, soul scalping, soul trading, in the mighty name of Jesus, I ask for forgiveness and cleansing. I stand in agreement with our adversary, confessing the accusation brought against us as sin. I humbly ask for forgiveness in the mighty name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, I thank agree. you for cleansing. I agree. Makabosh. The metaphysical realm of our humanity. Now we're going into serious antinomy now of the metaphysical realm. Makashata Remokosata. The Bible says, and have no fellowship with the unfruitful work of darkness, but rather reprove them. Ephesians 5 11, Colossians 1 3 to 15. Who has delivered us from the power of darkness and has translated us into the kingdom of his creation in whom we have redemption. Hallelujah to his blood, even the forgiveness of sin, who in the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of every creature, blocking out the unwriting of ordinances that is written against Yeshua. Hallelujah. You take it out of the way. You make a show of principality and power triumphing over them. Now, by the power in the blood of Jesus, O Emmanuel, associate yourself with your wicked power and you shall be broken in pieces. Carry your greater and you shall be flattered. And you shall be battered in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now we have finished. We have finished the courtroom. We have finished the courtroom procession. Can you listen? We have finished the courtroom procession. Now we have 100 prior points for the cleansing of the etheric seal and the cleansing of the astral pain of humanity. Are you ready to pray for your Halibu Kusaka? Say, oh Lord! Mm. Oh Lord! Every organized tragedy, every organized tragedy, organized tragedy. of the demonic world, in my metaphysical realm, in my metaphysical realm, in my etheric field, in my etheric field, you demonic influence. You, you demon, you demon influence. I judge you by fire. I judge you by fire. You better say it again. I judge you by fire. Oh, no. I judge you by fire. I judge you by fire. Say it again. I judge you by fire. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. Say, every power, Mando Kusa, every power, 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 power
house and my father's house. From my mother's house and my father's house. Challenging my body. Kusaya. Challenging my body. Your time is up. Your time is up. Your time is up. Release my body and die, Kushai. Release my body and die. Hallelujah. 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 Forward from the second heaven. Forward from the second heaven. My destiny. That I find to blight in my destiny. Power I find to blight in my destiny. destiny. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? You're waiting for? Come out with all your roots. Come out with all your roots. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the, in the mighty name, name of, of God. Jesus. Jesus. Oh God, arise. Oh God, arise. Oh God, arise. Oh God, arise. Do a new thing in my etheric seal. I feel the Holy Ghost. Do a new thing in my etheric seal. In all my finances. On my finances. On my finances. That has been trapped. That has been trapped in another dimension. In another, in another dimension. dimension. Uh, operating metaphysical frequency. Operating metaphysical frequency. That raises Jesus from the dead. The power that raises Jesus from the dead. Release my finance by fire. Receive my kindness by fire. Listen to me. You know I don't. I don't mean for when I prophesy. I look in the realm of the spirit and I saw money raining down on people like supernatural rain. Shakudukusata. It has to do with your etheric field. It has to do. I need prayer warrior to wake up. Wake up tonight. Wake up. Amen. Amen. Every Acceleration of the I feel like I want to prophesy to someone. Hallelujah. This is the Lord. This is the hour of our financial extravagance. God says, get ready to live life very luxuriously. Even the proper Hallelujah. 
So what, when, now watch what God is doing with you. Uh, God is dealing with your etheric seal because your etheric seal was the realm where the power of darkness blocked you. Power from your mother's house. Power from your father's house. Power from envious friends. But as God begins to release the power back into you, you will butter and scatter. Their warfare against you will not stand. For you stand in the place of divinity. Every honor of divinity that is in you is being activated. Say the Father, you will not fall prey to any more attack, a demoralizing attack. You will not go down under the pressure. You will not go down. Say the Father, the Lord, she get ready. For the wealth is mine. I'm going to shake your heaven. I'm getting ready to shake your heaven. I'm getting ready to shake your heaven. I'm going to bring the world of kings. The world. That's why you will be traveling the nation. You will be traveling the nation to stop the breast of kings. You will be traveling the nation to stop the breast. Feel the Holy Ghost up in you. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ, you will be talking the breath of kings. The Lord is saying something. If you, if you ever learn how to pray tonight, if you ever break the heaven tonight, if you ever get mad in the spirit and say, Enough is enough. I was born for more than this. I'm carrying more than this. Devil, I'm carrying more than this. You cannot keep me at this low place. I am highly anointed. I have the oil of relevancy. I have the oil of recognition. I have the oil. My God did not leave me alone. He said, I'm a he said, lift up your head. We give the everlasting doors to the king, the rich king, the global king, the global phenomena, the mysterious wonder, the God who is the aristocrat, wants to come in to your gate to turn your life upside down, to make you rich, to make you prosper, to make you accelerate. Into a new realm of glory. Who did God send me here for tonight? Let it rain. Let the glory come. Let the power to possess what you could not possess before. Let it rain down on you. Let it rain down on you. Let it rain. Let there be a overflow, an abundance, a supernatural increase. I did not come for everybody. Some people want you to still stay at the level of the top. Some people want you to still beg from them. They borrow from them. But God said, the time has come, and now is a reason. You are a philanthropist. You will already be a philanthropist. I can see something. God is showing me something. God is showing me something. It is your energy. 
see they are stolen while you have been struggling. God say, I'm giving you back your dominion. I'm giving you back your wealth. I'm giving you back your position. I'm giving you back everything you lost. Everything that was stolen. Everything that was broken. I'm giving it back. I'm giving it back. I'm seeing it coming. Somebody better help me tonight. Thank you, Lord. 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 Rekebo ulbe na kasa. I want to speak into your life tonight. I charge your energy field with the apostolic prophetic fire of God. I command you to run through your teeth, leap over your walls. Man kalibo kusa kunde de de de. I want to speak to someone who will be the first. Hallelujah. I'm not saying that you want to. Yes, yes, yes. Come on, confidence. Let me speak into your life. For thus says the Lord, you're not ever going to diminish. For you're not in the season of diminishing. Robo kosata rebe kusa. This is the season, prophetess C, where you have the biggest butter of your life. And because the butter of your life has a truck, the supernatural realm of God, the heavenly tribunal is getting ready to come and give you access. God is changing the guards in your house. God is blocking all satanic contenders. They will catch fire on the queue waiting for you to die. God is making your enemy retarded and powerless. They are going to run away from you. They are going to say you are the biggest obia woman in Philadelphia. They are going to say you are losing the Lawrence and you will hear them crying because because they are the ones that have tried to kill you over a period of time. And because all their assignment has been unsuccessful, they say this woman is working, Obia. This woman is working with power. Can you jump and go on bad? As we will say in Jamaica. So God say I didn't allow them to kill you. But I wanted you to know that they were really after you. But God God says the weapon form and it was not able to prosper because I altered the devices of the wicked and caused them not to perform their enterprise. And God said, my daughter, why are you just looking at one business and exploring a dynamic realm for you? You're getting ready to open another branch. You and your son is going to operate a business together. Come up Climb upon your mountain of power. Climb upon your mountain of prosperity. If no one will go with you, go alone. For you are a revolutionary. Revolutionary, no walking crowd. Revolutionary, walk alone. I feel the Holy Ghost up in my belly. In the name of Jesus, you are a script that the enemy cannot read. Hallelujah. They are trying to figure you out. They are running out of skelter. They are running up and down. They can't figure you out. They don't know what's going on. Maku Shadabaha. The Lord they come up higher. Make inquiry for a new business place. Rakashandala Mahala. For this is your Mount Zion. You must be delivered. You must operate in holiness. You must possess your possession while your enemies are baptized with covetousness. You have received the genuine baptism. It is a baptism of divine immunity against death, against insanity. They wanted you to run mad. But instead of running mad, you run through your youth. You run through the community of the cult. You run through the masculine. You run you run to the stargazer, you run to the pronosticators, you run to the killers. They did not kill you on the 17th. I feel the fire up in here. You better lose this. Oh, my come on, shut up. In the name of Jesus. 
God said there will be, you will receive every dime. He said, write on every dime. When I tell you to stand, write it down. Makabo Shata. I'm bringing down the strong man. I'm bringing breakthrough to your business. You will get business professional. Prepare yourself, daughter. Every business bewitchment is behind you. I am giving you biblical principle that those that are unlearned cannot figure out how you rich. I hear the Lord call you rich. I hear the Lord call you my consecrated rich daughter. Content for your wealth is coming. Content for your breakthrough. Content. Kill the criminal in your destiny. Kill the criminal in your marriage. Kill the criminal in your business. For you are a business professional. You will bring down the power of God upon your accuser. Be prepared to walk on their head. Crush their head like the serpent head was crushed in the garden. I feel the Holy Ghost up in here. Woman of God, go and get up on the water. As you're getting your water, I am getting mine. I tell your son to get up on the water. You're your son gonna have a business. It's a prophetic destiny. It's a prophetic affair. It's a prophetic mountain up. It cannot be blocked. I wish somebody would have me help me somebody. I'm here. I got the water. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm, I got the water, Apostle. Hallelujah. Jesus, I get cut off again. Yes, the devil is a liar. Here we have to pray for the Lord is speaking and the devil is mad. We have I the Lord says you and your son is consecrated for the millions that is getting ready to come. He said it's a prophetic destiny. The defile cannot enter into this. Hallelujah. He said get ready to get the seed that will bring the million down. If you're doubting, don't even say yes. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord. Hallelujah. I want Hallelujah. you to bring the million down. The millions that will disgrace my accuser. The millions to start the... Listen, Jesus Christ, I say millions. Hello, somebody. I have to drink some water. Amen. I need to fix my nervous system. Hold on there. Amen. Lift up your bottle of water, sweetheart. Mm. Yeah. I, have re- I receive of the Lord. I receive of the Lord. The unquantifiable. The unquantifiable. Unmatchable. Unmatchable. Undeniable. Undeniable. Wealth. Well, riches, riches, double for my trouble, double for my trouble, scream this one out, double for my shame, hallelujah, double for my, what was the last, 
Double for my shame. Double for my shame. Jesus. Um, Brother Carl, somebody has something playing in their background. This is so unprofessional. Can you mute them? Go online and mute that person for me, please. Or drop them off the line. Not apologizing. That person that is playing something while we're talking to our God under this high prophetic dimension, mute them and drop them off the line. Double for my trouble, double for my Thank you, Holy Spirit. The devil is in trouble. Your word will manifest. So say after me as I drink this water. Mm. As I drink this water. Every divinity in me. Every divinity in me. Inclusive of my well goodness and mercy and favor. Inclusive of my well goodness and mercy and favor. Must be activated. Must be activated. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Come sweetheart, drink it full. And if your son is there, drink it full. I see I see money. I don't even know what to tell you. <laughs> Amen. It's going to be a heavy inflow of supernatural wealth. Receive it in the mighty name of Jesus. Can somebody shout amen? What up anointing tonight? Amen. 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 Because our etheric seal is being delivered. God Almighty, spend the rest of the week dealing with the etheric seal. That's where the breakthrough come. Hallelujah. I shall money flowing down the week like rain. And I asked God, what is this? And he said, every financial rain. Every financial rain. Financial rain. Some of you, from the day you were born, you have never experienced financial rain. You have only seen the financial hardship and famine. It's time to experience and encounter the Every financial rain. Can somebody say every financial rain? In the name of Jesus. Every financial rain. Every financial rain. Our sister Melora, who's going to do a procedure tomorrow, can you come uh, in the prophetic name of Jesus? I'm here, Apostle. Amen. Women of God, I lift up your body, your etheric seal. Ah, the power base of the eater of flesh and the drinker of blood is being destabilized in your body. Holy Ghost, overshadow this woman in turn Her blood of pancreas. We don't want to hear that she has any colon cancer. Is every cancer cell upon your daughter? We ask that the eyes will empower her. You will cast out fatigue. The Holy Ghost scream in my belly. Here goes another millionaire. Here goes the philanthropist that I'm raising with the generational blessing. Here goes a daughter. My God, I hear something. This is mysterious. I have to tell you what I hear. Jesus. Somebody better scream. If you don't scream, I'm hanging up this phone in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. You've got to give God glory on this line tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 You are not going to believe what I'm about to tell you. God say you are going to be 
romantically align to the bone of your you, bone Jesus. and the flesh of your Hallelujah. flesh and your ear of loneliness is coming to an end. Woo! Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Somebody. God say I have placed you in your Esther preparation season. Now I'm giving you the kingdom dimension of power from A to Z. You will experience my Jew benevolence in the era of marital glory marital destiny marital a sacrament the Lord say you shall love again you shall live again you will build your house again you will raise again you will not come from behind for I did not call you into pauperhood I call you into royalty get ready to live life luxuriously God says this season of your life is dedicated hallelujah to the luxuriousness of God the tale and the plight of pauperhood is over that era of trouble and hopelessness that plight of devastation is over it's time you will feel a significance of importance you will start saying boy i love myself you lost that for a period of time or you were being battered by the enemy and your womanhood was under question you were wondering what happened to velora but i hear the lord say your womanhood is being restored your womanhood is being aligned your womanhood that was questioned your womanhood that was killed hallelujah and battered there was no more manifestation of joy all your all sometimes you sat down tears running out of your eyes and you don't even know why you're crying god says that season is over for the enemy perfects you for you to run mad there was something that he attached to you for countless mental breakdown. But God has sent his sword, his word, his love, and his gift, and he's giving back your birthright. Hallelujah. You will not be the same. The godly sorrow of sin that you had endured was good for you because they asked for mercy. But now you're going to live in uncompromising righteousness, says the Father in Jesus. Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Rabari Ariosaya. Oh, Rabababababababa. Hey, Rabababababababababa. I want to speak to a few more people before I go. I'm not going to stay until 1 a.m. tonight. Shade of the book, Kosata. For the Lord, Carolyn. get ready for contract, Lady Carolyn. Mukusata Makasata, even the strong man of hatred and barrenness that you're wearing in your forehead that has caused great, hallelujah, financial hardship, discouragement. Satan wanted to take away what was designed to bring you into a phenomenal place. You are about to leave an indelible mark upon the planet Earth. For God's sake, hallelujah, do not watch the deceitfulness of man's heart. Get ready, for you're going to a place where you know no luck and no poverty. You will not have any relationship are parallel with poverty because you are called to address poverty in every realm, in every sphere, in every dimension of your existence. God say begin to use the prophetic sword that I put in your mouth. Do not stay under the radar of oppression. Crush the seed of the enemy that wants to tie you into a place of hardship and poverty for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. And the zeal of God will perform it. Hallelujah, prophetess. Hallelujah. I receive it, Lord. I receive it. Thank you. 
I'm just going to do it like that. Minister Sue, for thus says the Lord, the gift of the prophetic is all over you. This is a season, Robo Kosata, when your star is getting ready to land. For I have prepared a prophetic destination for your star. And as you walk in your spiritual birthright, you shall manifest as the daughter of God that will be revealed as the shining light in a dark world. You are not going to be excluded out of this generation, hallelujah, that need the redemptive grace, for there is a state of emergency in the realm of the spirit, and I am determined that you will be set like a flint face in your determination to plant the seed in your generation, to bid wanderers to come. I will cause you to cancel the secret Council of darkness, as my ecclesia, you will rule and operate, and the gates of hell will not find you. They will search for iniquity, but they will not be able to accuse you. You're coming out, you're going to be unveiled. God says, I'm getting ready to package you. You will be unveiled to the nations of the world as my end time prophetic power prophet for the mouth of the Lord is calling you a power prophet of the nation, sent to restore humanity back to its original intent in God, says the Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I'm going to close with just a few more. I know many people want the prophetic, but I cannot operate where there is so much, hallelujah, there is so much, you know, distraction. I'm going to ask Brother Paul Sadford to ensure that when he's editing this to take out all the distracting moment. This is a prophetic ministry, as I said before, when our etheric field is cleared. Ah, Jesus Christ. It's a long time you don't hear me prophesy and flow like this. It is because I am dealing with the etheric field. The etheric field. I want to say unto you, take it up. Take the response responsibility to deal with your etheric fear all through the week. Say, God, any parasite, any invader, any infiltrator, any manipulator, I want to say to uh, Lady Nisi that get, get ready. You're going to participate in a high flow of divine increase. God says, uh, get ready to buy more property. You have not seen the depths of that which I've called you to rule. I have called you to rule outside of the religious scope. You will not be restricted or confined by religious mentality. I'm Binding the strong man, dismantling the strong man of religion. And I say, get ready, because I see a manufacturing company coming out of you. I see, remember the last time I spoke to you that I see your manufacturing swimwear. Rock. God say, get ready for the clothing line. Get ready for the clothing line. Kushata Makusete. I see a lot of young models running all over the stage. You are having different kind of show with models from different continent of the world. God say, I'm going to revive this skill that I gave to you for designing and you will collaborate with a top designer that is going to carry a lot of influence to your designing a, a skill and ability. God says he's giving you another depth with lingeries for Christian women, for leading ladies, bath suits, Underwears, rakasata, sophisticated nightwear, rakasata. I'm looking at you and I see you're happily married and you were in a nightwear that you designed. Shotolomo kosata. Do not limit yourself. You may marry a white man. Don't speak against it. And there's a lady that I'm affiliated with. She was with a man, engaged with the man. God tell me that man is not her husband. I told her she didn't talk to me. Something happened that she and that man break up. Uh, hallelujah. One year after I call her and I say, God is showing me a white man that you're going to be married to a white man. Three months after she meet the white man, she did not say anything to me. I call her again and I say, I see a white man coming to be your husband. And this man is going to be so absolutely 
completely undeniably in love with you that not long after the dating, he's going to ask you to be his bride. Child of God, believe me, as I have the Lord right before me on the 18th of January this year, she was wedded with a white Man, she called me crying. She said, prophetess, did you remember you told me that I'm going to? I said, yes, the prophetic word does not fall to the ground. Once the Lord has spoken it, it shall not fail. It shall come to pass. So God is getting ready to give you some properties, uh, Sister Nisi, even in, uh, hallelujah, you're going to be extended uh, to I see California before me. You're going to be extended to Georgia. Get ready, Bakusata. I see one, a two, a three, a four hotel. You're going to go into bidding. There's some hotels that's going to be bid at ridiculous prices. You're going to get a bidding license. I have never seen anything like this, but what I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit look like when people bid for cars and stuff, I see you bidding on um, dilapidated, breaking down um, places, and you will get your team. Can I prophesy? Can I prophesy what I'm seeing in the Amen. realm of the spirit? My God, my God. Ah, oh, yeah, 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 Makushete. Sister Nacy, uh, B, yeah, your last name is B, Blake. I want to tell you what God showed me, that you're going to get some Hispanic man, huh? because God is get, doing something different in your life. I see one, a two, a three, a four, five Hispanic, one, two, three, four, six Latino, because the Lord is going to also bring out of you a constructing, uh, hallelujah, company where you have men that are your men that they are you are the CEO of that constructing company. They just work with you to build up the buildings that are de- destroyed for whatever reason. You get those building at ridiculously low prices uh, and they are renovating them and flipping them. God is getting ready, get ready to maximize your real estate potentials. I don't know if you have a real estate license under your belt Belt, but I see a big door open for you in the real estate industry. Can somebody say praise God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Hallelujah. I see a gold chain putting around your hand, and that, that is the man saying the deal is signed. You will not look for love anymore. I am your man, and it doesn't matter what people say. You are my bone. I saw you from the first time I see you. I know that you are mine. I hear the man saying, you are my wife. You are mine. Put on this. Uh-huh. I don't play with people. Uh-huh. Destiny. Put a seed on this, because too much, too much envious witchcraft is around your destiny. Too much envious. You are so envied. You are very much envied. You're envied. Put a seed on this. Laminate it with a seed. I saw you. You're gonna where you're gonna live. Your husband and you will have a big place. I see on horse, and I hear the husband calling the horse Jade. J A D E. Write it down. Makabo Shaturebekusa. And that power that say you will never give birth is a lying power. Because I see a little girl with very curly ear and she look off white to me. So get ready in the prophetic name of Jesus. Somebody mm-hmm. shout hallelujah in Jesus' hallelujah. mighty name. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm seeing something Hallelujah. also with your body, uh, uh, Miss Blake. Mm-hmm. The Lord is saying, mm-hmm. Mama Kusete. The, the, when I met you, I was saying, I didn't know that you were such a little petty little girl. That I saw, <laughs> when, I saw, when I saw you, I said, Jesus, the first thing God showed me is all oh, your husband going to just scoop you up in his hand, just carrying you with one hand like a little toy. And I said, this girl is going to get real love. She's going to fall in love. She's going to feel the virtue of a man that loves her. And the love will flow even in the public places. You will not be able to keep your hand off each other. That's what I saw. And I seal this prophecy with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Before your husband comes, there's going to be three decoys. 
three D coil. Men that work out in the gym, muscular. None of these three buster oster that I'm seeing is your husband. <laughs> they are not. I call them Amen. buster. Jesus Christ, mighty God, I don't know if there's such a word in the English vocabulary, but in my vocabulary, in my dictionary that I write, <laughs> somebody said, Buster, 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 just coming after you for, for, for sex and for flesh. But the husband that God is giving you, you and him is gonna do be in business. He's a business um he's a businessman too, and you're gonna be in business and ministry. So get ready. It's a very serious destiny. And I'm telling you what God is telling me. God tell me to tell you that E God will frustrate all the lying buster usters that will come to deceive you. He's gonna frustrate them. So they will never get a time to deceive you in the season. Praise the name Amen. of the Lord. Amen. I am glad that Lord, we came yeah. on tonight. No, yeah. uh, is there you one more person? Me. Yes. Just go and put a seed on that. I'm not going to tell you what to do. I just know that you need a seed on that. And some. Amen. Let's bring the seed to the court of heaven right now and we ask the Lord that this thing is sealed because when Abraham in the book of Genesis when he raised the altar the vultures came down and eat I keep telling people that was the only time in the history of Abraham's life he was catapulted and accelerated in a different dimension 330 years in advance to the dispensation that he was in uh, you can read the story yourself Abraham was catapulted and accelerated to 430 years prior. They say we are in 2023. God and Abraham would, would be in our dispensation. God catapulted Abraham 430 years in advance to that dispensation and show him that his generation will be in bondage for 430 years. Did you know what? The seed that Abraham did for them, it assured their emancipation. It also assured that when they coming out, whoever afflict them, whoever rob them, whoever malign them, they will be subjugated at everything they stole from the people while they were working them out in rigor and all those things that they did to them, they would have to pay them back. That was what Abraham see done. It secured for them restoration even before that generation come into fruition. Listen to me. Many of you on this line don't understand when you sow a seed what you're doing. You don't have a clue. And oh, somebody outside Amen. Abraham seed. Ah, it is dispensation. I'm speaking on the authority of God. Preserve the generation. That is to come before they were even born. Shout hallelujah. 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 Did anybody get that? Tell me what you understand. Amen. Amen. I don't think Sister Velora, tell me what you understand. Sister Kala, somebody tell me what you understand from what I just said. Praise the name of the Lord. Anybody tell me. You have to put a seed on it. <sighs> that is not what you should understand. I am telling you, prophet of God and prophetess, we're coming down now. Me? I saw my way out of poverty. People don't understand how I get out this, pay off that, this. They don't understand. I'm a mad Amen. so I don't play with my seed. Hello, somebody. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. 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 God Amen. says to Abraham, Raise a seed. Abraham built an altar. Abraham built an altar and the vultures, which was the fall of the ear, came down to eat up his sacrifice. And Abraham, according to the Bible, prayed them away. Abraham prayed them away. Don't eat up my sacrifice, you vulture. This is not for you. This is for the Lord. 
Hallelujah. Amen. That story is founded in the book of Genesis chapter 15 and verse 11. But what I like about this sacrifice of Abraham, after he did it, it transported him in the realm where he saw a 430. Some of you can't even see tomorrow, next week, Amen. and next year. <laughs> Some of us can't even see what's going to happen for the remaining of the night. But Abraham saw in advance 430 years what would have been the outcome of his descendants. He seed preserved their security. He seed preserved their subjugating their enemies and getting back everything. That was stolen from them. That is a very deep revelation that the Lord has given to Amen. us. Amen. Now tonight, I want to come Amen. to the end. As I tell you that I won't stay with you until 1 and 2 o'clock tonight. I want you to take the initiative to be your own prophet and get ready to pray for your metaphysical realm. This digital book of mine, an untethering metaphysical realm, is going to be coupled with 150 prior point, which will bring the book to, hallelujah, a great handing. That as you finish your courtroom procession, I always tell people going to the court is like going to get your legal document. After you go and get your legal document, you need to kick off the enemy out of your body. So the court provide the log- all the lo- logistical things that you need to be done is officially done and the release is granted from the court of heaven. And sometimes the enemy wants your release, love to still reside in your body or you know whichever part of you you want him out of. So you have to execute the judgment of the Lord by getting the legality in place and then get the enemy out. We have been praying this thing upside down. Some people even kicking out the enemies. And the enemy have a legal right to stay inside the the place that they are. So I thank God for you tonight. We are coming to the end. I'm sorry for those that just coming on. We have actually started at 9 p.m. And we are closing now. I want to say for those of us, I believe that is a high time for the prophetic. I believe it's a high time for renewal of their power. If you're on this line and you have not met Yahushua Ama Ashiach as your Lord and Savior, it is the high time you turn to him. Just repeat this prayer after me. Dear Lord Yahushua Ama Ashiach, Jesus, the anointed one, I am a sinner. Forgive me, Lord, of my sins and cleanse me of all unrighteousness. I believe that Jesus Christ died for my sin. I believe that God raises Jesus from the dead. I confess Yahushua, Amashaya, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, as my Lord and Savior. Father, erase my name from the Lamb's, from the, the, the book of death and write my name, engrave my name in the Lamb's book of life and seal it there to eternity. As I spoke to Apostle Oslin Facey today, I said, I have been given a mandate to bring a million souls to the Lord. That million soul don't mean that they will be a part of the line of Judah. But what I want to do is to pioneer with other pastors existing in our ministry that if you are online and you're in different areas of the United States, we can send you to a warm mm-hmm. church body because after you have repeated the sinner prior, you're going to need a church home for cultivation and development. So I told her that I'm going to be pioneering with pastors to get their details. If you're in Connecticut, my my ministry is in Florida, and you come online and you get salvation, we want to package you and send you off to the right church. So you will have an umbrella, you will have a covering, a place where you can be nurtured and developed. I believe that's what we need to do, because we we are not anointed for everyone. You understand? Every one of us is anointed for different kind of people. So those that are coming on online, you can submit to me the areas that you're from. I will look at church in that region that I know will teach you the truth, the word of God, prepare your soul for eternity, and I will give you the, the, um, the name of the pastors so you can laze with them and you can get a good church home. Hallelujah. God bless you. I am Apostle Anakin Israel. We have come to the end of tonight's service. We continued from last night. You can find the, the um, part one on our YouTube channel 
under the the um the team um, Lion of Judah Global Mission. You can go to the YouTube channel where you will find our previous broadcast because this is a continuation of last night on teetering. To him who is able to do far exceedingly above beyond what we can ever imagine, according to power that worketh in us, to Yahushua Hamashiach, Yod A of Vag A, be glory, honor, and dominion. And all God's children say, Amen. Yahweh bless you. Good night. Shalom. Amen. Until next Amen. time. Good night. Amen. Good night. 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 Good